Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014, and we're at Interbike right now, and we wanted to stop by. We got some really cool information on this uh, kinetic trainer that we call rollers, but uh, the cool part about it is everything I read on it was that it's really compact, easy to you know move and all that kind of stuff, but we got Jason. He's going to walk us through all the cool parts of this, why it's not only small, compact, but a really good roller to use and travel with. Yeah, so when uh, when we started working on a roller, it was uh, it was something that a lot of the race teams that we work with had been asking us to do. And when I talked to some friends that are track athletes, I asked them, what can I do to make rollers better? Because it seems like a pretty simple machine, but we, we didn't want to do something unless we could offer something unique to the market. So the thing that they said was, Traveling with rollers, hauling them to and from the track is, is kind of a pain. So if you can make them fold down as small as possible, that would make their lives easier. Because when, I, when they're going back and forth, especially to the track, there's always a tunnel or stairs or something to get in. And anything that they can add that they can carry on their back or whatever, that might be one less trip out to the car down into the pits. So by making this, uh, making them fold up with this trifold design, it's something that they can throw in a, in a, a roll top backpack and Haul to, the, haul to the track. I hauled him here to the show in the roll top backpack this morning. Yeah, so why that's important to you that are watching this video that don't understand cycling as well is that, you know, your legs are everything in cycling. So the least amount of trips, the more you're off your legs, the better your performance, right, is what we'd like to think. So it's a big deal when you've got to make a trip clear out to the car just to bring something else back in to be able to get your warm up, different things like that. So, you know, this is a super cool idea. You can tell they've put they've done a really good job on the design of it. It looks really good. And my understanding the machining end of this thing is first class also. So you're not buying some rollers that are just to get you by and are easy to get there, but a real high-end roller. Can you tell us a little bit about how they're built? Yeah, so uh, one of the things that we looked at was one of the key sort of stress points is going to be the axle. And so we used a axle that's at least 50% thicker than anything else we found in anybody else's trainer. Axle, as long as you need the axle to keep the bearings in line and for, uh, for the, over the long term, that's going to be one of the key potential wear parts. Our, our rollers all have a lifetime warranty just like our trainers and so we want to make sure that they're going to last for the long haul. We use very high quality bearings because that's another obvious Major major component. It's a pretty, like I said, it's a pretty simple machine, but we wanted to focus on the parts that are going to be be the most crucial to the performance. The rollers are all machined, both inside and out, so we wanted to make sure that they're very true, that they spin smoothly. They're also extremely quiet, so those, the performance on these was uh, was absolutely the most important thing for us. So with that, uh, obviously check out the uh, Kinetic. They make all sorts of different trainers and uh, check their stuff out. They do a great job. But if you're looking for a set of rollers, this is the cool thing for you to get to be able to take out to the track or to be able to take to a crit or whatever you need to just to be able to get warmed up. Now, mountain bikers can ride on these all at the same exact time, everything like that. A little bit of wheel noise, but, you know, works perfect for them. So keep out there, keep cycling strong, have fun, and we'll be talking to you and watch the rest of the videos from Interbike 2014.